Then sewer scan to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons are at maximum. It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You wish the energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. Watch how I saw it. Now, it's gone completely. Engage. English fail. No. <laughs> Hello. Microphone slicked and fail. I forgot to select the channel for my microphone in the program. Hello and welcome oh. to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I'm your host, David, and joining me today we have EJ. Yar. We have Stuart. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> we have Amy. Money, oh! And we have Eugene. Hello. There he is. Um, so <laughs> this week we are doing the Sci-Fi Olympics. So the Rio Olympics just finished, and we thought we would kick in a little bit of fun by looking at the Olympic sports themselves, going through them, choosing a select handful, and seeing who we think would win gold. And Stuart's going to keep track and let us know which oh, universe God. wins the most medals. So. Oh, we're not doing a first, second, or third, so it's just whoever wins, wins. There's only we one medal, and it is gold. Up. So, <laughs> may not have told Stuart this was going to happen. <laughs> so, let's start with the athletics. Um, so, we have... We'll go with a 100 metres race. Um, so, just stand at 100 metres. And now it's open to men and women at the same time. It can be anyone from any universe at all. So... 100 meter race, who have we got? Well, I think a 100 meter race would be too short for the flash, really. It does take him a little while to get going. Sonic. Sonic? You, th- you, you think Sonic would, would win the 100? What about Speedy yeah. Gonzalez? Yeah. Oh, Taz. <laughs> Taz made me devil. Roadrunner. Roadrunner? Road runner? Yeah, road, road runner. Road runner would be pretty quick. Oh. I don't know. It's it's a hard call. I'm still sticking with Flash. Flash. You're still sticking with the Flash? No. Flash has so many races he can win. I'm, yeah. go- I'm going with Kara Zorel and, uh, for the women's and um, oh, uh, her cousin. Cow Al, I'm going with both of them. Ah, Supergirl. Superman and Supergirl for for running race. Yeah, that could work. Hundred meters is not very far, so for them it'd be over it probably as fast as you go. Click. Um, Road Runner wins. Now let me just let's see. Okay, finalists. We'll go with we'll go with three finalists: Supergirl, Speedy Gonzalez, and Roadrunner. Of those three, who gets the gold? Roadrunner. Yeah, as much as Speedy uh, would be fast, you also got to think he's a mouse. <laughs> he's got to take run, the cheese. He's got to run twice as fast just to to cover the same yeah, distance. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm gonna give this one to Supergirl. No! Supergirl by a flick of the hair. <laughs> flick of the hair. What'd she do? Flick her hair out ahead of everyone? Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> backwards? You would think Roadrunner would have the advantage since he has a giant long neck. Yeah, that's a fair point. But Roadrunner also takes a little bit of time to get up to speed. Not really. Well, you see, he, he, he's the whole leg blur thing doesn't start immediately. He goes meep meep, and then pew, he's gone. Yeah, yeah, because he's he's haunting you, and then he goes. Yeah, so that goes bang. He taunts everyone else is at the finish line. He doesn't have to taunt. He doesn't always taunt. He just can. Taunt. <laughs> Supergirl. Do we have a second on? Uh, do we have a super second for Supergirl? I did. So I'm going 
Roadrunner. Yep. <laughs> okay, so we've got two votes for Supergirl, two votes for Roadrunner. Stuart, you are the deciding factor. Who wins? Not it. <laughs> what? Mm, do I just go with my own idea and mess with everyone? <laughs> or... <laughs> you have to choose one or the other. I'm going to go Roadrunner. Roadrunner? No. Arr! So, it looks it's like Water Brothers is off to an early good. lead with one with one gold medal. With one medal? Yeah. A bag of bird seed. And some short. <laughs> okay. Now let's move on to the the decent race. The fifty kilometer um race walk. You mean the marathon? No 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 no. It's a walk there's a walking race. Mm-hmm. It's a marathon, but there's also a walking race. Oh. I don't get it. Uh, okay, the, basically the way it works is you power walk, and if you've got more than one foot off the ground at any point in time, you get a, the flag put against you. You get and, disqualified. And if, you, if that happens three times, you get disqualified. The only reason I know this is because one of my friends was in Sydney 2000 when our person was, when the Aussies were coming first by a fucking year, and the last person she had to get past without getting a red flag gave her a red flag. And she just curled up on the side of the road and cried for like an hour. So. Wait, wait. Is this an actual event? Yes. At yes. 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 I'm skipping all of the other races. Okay, screw it. 50 kilometer running race. Open to any. I knew there was a reason I didn't watch the Olympics. No, it's, 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 <laughs> it's absolutely insane. Okay, so it's. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Yeah. We've got a funny, we've got a funny video from Tokyo in four years. Fair point. So. 50, okay, we're we're going to adapt the race to suit the medium. 50 kilometer running race open to anyone or anything that is less than, say, 12 meters long. So it's open to cars and it's open to people. But not Ooh. open to, like, spaceships, because that's just cheating. Because, because warp speed. <laughs> no, you're... You're, you're trying. You're trying to disqualify what you know my choice is going to be. <laughs> that is to... not fair, sir. That's not fair. Fine. If 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 oh, um the the what's it called Delta something Delta Flyer. If the Delta Flyer is allowed, so is the Cylon Raider. It has a jump drive point to point. Boop! It's there. <sighs> we'll anyway. have a thing. We'll have one for spaceships later. Yeah. Now, this is ground only. It has to be on the ground. Um, can we have a gun? Bumblebee. <laughs> Bumblebee? I was going to go with Herbie, so... <laughs> uh, you've got Herbie, you've got Speed Racer, you've got the Flash. <laughs> wow. The Batmobile? The Batmobile? Which one? The Batmobile, yes. The, the question is, which iteration of it? Yeah. The bat bike! Robin's bike! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Um, I cannot remember their name. Ah. Oh. Okay, so... Let's you, see. You give us a hint, maybe we can help you, EJ? Yeah. Now, no, because it's an off ball one. Honestly, I'm still going for the Flash in this one. Yeah, I think the Flash would win... Because he's, he's got no a... vehicles, no, no extra help. Oh yeah, he would win on his own without needing a vehicle, but Herbie would come yeah. a close second because Herbie. <laughs> like you said Herbie. specifically that they gotta have they gotta have one foot on the ground at all times. I no, think no, 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 no. We, we, on that back. we 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 retooled it so that it's not the the race walk anymore. It's just a run now, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, in that case, yeah, Flash will smoke them all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes does he really actually walk on the land? Sometimes he's just half flying by the speed he runs. <laughs> oh, I, I got another one that'll, that'll give the Flash a run for his money. Dash. Oh, sorry, God, if you say reverse Flash. Dash. From Incredibles. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Quicksilver. Uh Quicksilver can't hold a candle to the Flash, and that's been proven already. 
Yeah. But Dash from The Incredibles is ridiculously fast. But yeah. Okay. So, if it's just a vehicle race, my money's on Herbie, but if the Flash is involved, he wins hands down. Herbie's not fast. It's Herbie. Okay, okay. He I'll try to describe no. mine. Oh, here we go. I found it. I found it. Okay. So, the Captain Picard with the Iconian uh, transport device. He'd be out of lane. <sighs> He'd have to go up to go in, down. No, you can have it right there at the lane. And it just magically transports them to the other end. No. Instantly. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I've, actually, uh, I'm going to add a new, new contender in. Doctor Fine. with the anti-grav bike. I was going to say Khan with the, with the portable teleporter from Into Darkness. No, no, because the teleporter will only send you at light speed. Uh, and so, because it's only going light speed, uh, the Flash can go faster than light speed and he would lose. That's why I chose the Iconian device and not the standard transporter. Fair point. No, ultimately, it's fairly irrelevant. Um, so it's a 50k race. Let's see. Um, finalists are... Um, Flash. Flash. Captain Picard with the Iconian wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey device. And... Sonic? Uh, no, Sonic, well, Sonic isn't really that fast necessarily. Okay, Sonic using the using Chaos right. Control when he goes Super Sonic. Yeah. So, what are the votes, Stuart? Who do you vote for? Oh, yeah, come on now, it's me. You know I'm going for Flash. <laughs> I thought you might throw, throw a spatter in the works and go for Sonic. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, AJ? Uh, Trek. Picard, of course. Uh-huh. Eugene? Actually, I'm going to go uh, with Flash on this one because the problem I see with the Iconian device is, yeah, we've seen them get used. The problem is the targeting. We'd never be able to see them open two points in the same inch in planet you know that close together we've well, seen them open doorways one planet to another so that's why I'm going to flash hmm. they never said that you couldn't do it the other way around though they didn't l- do that limitation it's just they they didn't normally use it in that manner Amy? right Flash. Flash okay so Flash has it because there's no vote I can place that'll out Trump the Flash. So Flash wins the 50 kilometer race. Uh, okay. Hammer throw. <laughs> Thor. Any contenders again. against Thor? Hulk. <laughs> and, he, and instead of a hammer, he just throws Loki. Good <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> Why is it sad that I could actually picture Hulk picking up uh, what's his face? Loki, the actual live action Loki. And, and it's no, just no, 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 no. <laughs> Actually, here's one. What about He Man? He Man? He Man! So we've got Thor. We've got He Man. Um, any other contenders for the hammer throw? Q. Q? No. Q. No. I know. No. You can't you have a pe- being of infinite God. fucking power. There's a difference between Thor and a being of infinite fucking power. Q could just go and teleport the hammer to the other side of the goddamn universe without trying. He could also snap his fingers and make himself ten times stronger than Thor. And Hulk. Yeah, but... What okay. about the android from Dark Matter? Eh. Ooh. Goku. The android from Dark Matter is pretty strong. Goku? Goku. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of a hammer, he just throws a giant turnip. <laughs> no, it's Chi Chi. So I'm feeling better now. No, 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 no that's Chi Chi. Okay. okay, so I reckon we'll I have just. One question. Yep. Thor's hammer that we're throwing. Is it Thor's hammer we're throwing? 
No. No. That'd be cheating. That'd be unfair. Because Thor can pull it back to himself for one, and no one else can pick it up if they're not honourable enough. Yeah. So, no, a normal hammer. A normal hammer? With, uh, 1,000 ki- uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, it's like, make, make it a, cement. yeah, a 10, a 10 ton <laughs> hammer. Yeah. So it's got a decent amount of whack behind it, so you need a decent amount of strength to throw it. I'm still voting okay. on Thor. Okay. Apollo, Apollo from TOS. There we go. Apollo from TOS. Yeah. That's not ringing any bells. There was an episode in the original series where they literally met the Greek god Apollo. And he was an alien being, uh, a very powerful alien being, but not infinitely powerful. And and literally, You're just like, trying to re- bend out. the rules as much as possible to get Star Trek to win, aren't you? No shit. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> was I ever hiding that fact? <laughs> you you, you no, do I... have a point. You do have a point. Okay, fine. But uh, he literally reached out with his hand grabbed the saucer section of the Enterprise and stopped it. And that's a lot bigger than a 10-ton hammer. That's a fair point. Okay, well, if you get to go with something like that, then I'm getting Omar Dasala from Stargate SG-1. No, that's like... That would be me getting Q. (laughs) Okay? If you get her, I get Q and I win, okay? (laughs) But she can't use her ascended powers. She's not allowed to. That's why Q wins. <laughs> so, anyway, back on topic. We have Thor. Who would, Okay, Stuart, you get to call the finalists on this one. Ooh, okay. Um, oh, damn. Um, hmm. uh, this is actually really hard now. Isn't it? It's like a lot of strong people. Um, alright, we'll go Thor, we'll go, we'll go Apollo, just so we can please EJ. Yay! <laughs> Doesn't mean he was win, it's just pleasing you. Choose <laughs> Superman. Choose Superman. He wasn't even in the Oh, list. I haven't even thought of anyone from DC that's strong. You know, actually, uh, Superman. Superman wasn't even in the list. That's not the point. <laughs> He gets to choose the finalists. And Master Yoda, because he can just use the Force. <laughs> <laughs> just just pick it up. It's like, size matters not. <laughs> okay. So, my vote would be on Master Yoda. <laughs> because he just put that thing at orbit, just because he can. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. He, 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 he gr- grabbed a falling pillory dealy that was definitely heavier than the weight of this hammer and sort of danced it around a bit and then dropped it without too much effort. Right, uh, but he, well, he I mean, wasn't able to push it until he got out of the swamp. Okay, so you were both talking over each other. I have no idea what the hell you said. EJ, go. Uh, he, he, oh, uh, what I said was that, yeah, but he couldn't push it very far and it took a lot of effort for him to stop it like that. Uh, and then um, uh, you were talking about how he brought the X-Wing out. That's uh, the swamp. That's what you were saying. Yeah. yeah. With, with relatively little effort. I had, to get, I had to get one Star Wars character in early before fencing, okay? I need a break. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, yep. I'm definitely voting for Master Yoda. Amy, what's your vote? Thor. Thor? Eugene, what's your vote? I'm going with Thor. Thor? Okay. Thor. EJ? Guess. So we've got two votes for Yoda and two votes for Thor. Looks like Stuart's the deciding choice. (laughs) Vote vote for Apollo. (laughs) That way we'll have a three-way tie and everyone gets gold. (laughs) Do I go favoritism? (laughs) Absolutely. Master Yoda. So Yoda wins ah! this one. Okay, so uh, there's only a handful of um, 
events left in the athletics section. I think we're just going to drop a few of them and go straight to... Like discus and shot put. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll, go, we'll do discus. Captain America ver But we'll only have two contenders. Captain America versus Wonder Woman. Who wins? Cap. Uh, Cap. Wonder Woman, actually. Data. Data. <laughs> Data. <laughs> <sighs> okay, Eugene, what's your call? Ooh, that's a hard one. Uh... I think I'll go with the cap. Cap. Okay. Captain America wins the discus. Um, okay, long jump. Um, Superman? <laughs> You're not allowed to use a flying ability, so all people with flying what? abilities are disqualified by default. I'm so going to Superman doesn't fly. He just leaps, uh, at least originally. Yeah, he didn't Superboy. Fly. No, Superboy. Yeah, Connor. Aquaman. Aquaman. Superboy can't fly, but he can jump really far. Hulk. I, okay, we, we, we've got Hulk Arthur Kirk. and Superboy. We need a third. Who's the third in our long jump? Arthur Curry. Who? Aquaman. Aquaman. Arthur Curry. Okay, so we'll limit it to one per universe. So do we want Aquaman or Superboy? Superboy. Okay... Cool, Superboy it is. So we've got for long jump we have Hulk, we've got Superboy, and we have um, Obi Wan Kenobi. Data. Obi Wan Kenobi because he could force jump. So I know who's yeah, but isn't that as much cheating as a flying ability? Is it as much fly? It's not flying. It's using excessive force, which is just like jumping, which is using an excessive amount of force. Mm. The difference is, mm. instead of using muscles to deliver the force, he's using midi chlorium majiggers. Oh, can we not mention that, please? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <sighs> Stuart hates it. Anyway, okay, so... That was the stop let's... explanation of the force. Yeah, let's, let's start with EJ. Who do you vote for? Obi-Wan Kenobi, the Hulk, or Superboy? Hulk. Hulk? So, gotta vote for Hulk. Eugene, who do you vote for? Hulk. Two votes for Hulk. Amy. Hulk smash. Superboy. Superboy. Stuart. Hulk smash. Okay, okay. looks like Hulk, Hulk it win. is. Okay, moving on to... Um, okay, well, the last of the athletics events we're going to cover is the javelin throw. <laughs> Aquaman. Aquaman. <laughs> Literally, who else uses a spear? Well, Superman did. Oh. Same. Um... Dialed me up a little bit. Superman did during... Um... Yeah. Who else uses a spear? talking like Kryptonian spear and Batman vs Superman, that doesn't count. <laughs> uh, actually... So... Who else uses a spear? Now that I actually have to think That's about what... it. Yeah, no, really. <laughs> like... I know. I got the, I got the perfect choice. King Leonidas oh. from 300. Huh. He loves a spear pretty bad. far. Yeah, well, not as far as, as uh, Aquaman. Yeah, but it depends. If Aquaman's out of water, he loses most of his abilities. They have water balls. Just keep them hydrated. <laughs> just pour it over his head, you reckon? Yeah. <sighs> or just give him a bottle of whiskey as in the Justice League trailer. <laughs> <laughs> It could be worse. Okay, so we've got hey, Aquaman. Trelane from TOS. What? Trelane from TOS. Can you stop making references to things that are like 30 years before we were born? <laughs> yeah. Expect us to actually remember them. Hey, it was actually 20 years before I was born, so... How young are you? I thought we were the same age. We are, but that involves math, so my brain is no worky. Oh, come on. I turned 30 this year. I turned 30 next year. Same here. I'm 25. I'm, yo I'm the youngin'. Yeah. So, anyway, javelin throw. Uh, so, EJ, call the finalists. Okay. Uh, so, what were my options one more time? The 
Oh, we have man. Aquaman, King Leonidas from 300, and whatever the hell you said. <laughs> Chalet. Well, there's, there's, we've been doing sets of three for finalists, and we only have three options. So, Aquaman, <laughs> Trelane, and King Leonidas. Okay. Um, now, if I'm going to narrow it down to two of those, I'm going to say uh, Trelane and Aquaman, because they both have superpowers, whereas uh, um, King Leonidas is just uh, a man. Highly trained man, but still a man. Okay, um, we'll we'll dial it down to those two then. So the only one of those two I know is Aquaman. So, yep. So, <laughs> so that's two votes for Aquaman by default. So, uh, children, children, learn your your learn your history, learn your nerd history, <laughs> nerd card revoked. I never said I had a nerd card to begin with. Eugene, Aquaman. Three votes for ah. Aquaman. Aquaman wins. Okay, that's the end of the field events, and it's only taken us 20 minutes to get there. <laughs> now we move on to the fun ones. Archery. Now, obviously, we've got Green Arrow and... Um, Hawkeye. Hawkeye. I'm, yeah. I'm nominating Xena. Data. Yeah. Did you say Data? Katniss Everdeen. I said data. No, he said Katniss everything from Hunger Games. Katniss, yeah? I said Katniss. Robin Hood. That's what I was saying. Robin Hood. <laughs> men in tights. <laughs> Has to be men in tights. Oh, oh, I take back data, the doctor. <laughs> the doctor. Yes. Because in the episode where, where he went up against Robin Hood, he won. <laughs> but that was not men in tights, Robin Hood, so haha. We all know that's the best one. Tight tights. <laughs> we fucking revoked these I'm castle. sure that'd be, that, that would actually be a scary sight. <laughs> Max, you in tight tights. Yeah. Um. <laughs> you know you love it. And EJ's gone to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, <it> is. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Um, Eugene, you get to call the three finalists for this one. Uh, Arrow, Katniss, and what were the other choices? Uh, Hawkeye, Hawkeye. Robin Hood, the Doctor. Hawkeye. Hawkeye? Okay. Uh, my vote's on Hawkeye. Amy? Amy? Yeah, Hawkeye. It's a sort of a toss-up between Green Arrow and Hawkeye, but... No, no, it's not. It's definitely not. It is Hawkeye all the way. They have already proven this as well. Yeah, t- hashtag death battle. I will, po- I will point you to the, t- t- to the death battle. Okay, so... Yeah, I've watched it, but I've watched it before. Uh, well, look... random episodes. Looks like Hawkeye wins this one. Oh. Um... Okay... <laughs> Oh, here we go. This this should prove absolutely hilarious. Wrestling. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Hulk. What a bit. What a beast. <sighs> the Hulk against Super uh, Superman. Oh. Ooh, that would be interesting. And Hercules. Hercules. Oh. oh. Kevin Sorbo. Hercules. Now I'm gonna, I was gonna say it has to be Hercules from from the TV series. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, it has, it has to be Kevin Sorbo. <laughs> Kevin Sorbo Hercules <laughs> oh, I think he wins just by sheer fact of what the hell am I watching and how have I not gouged my eyes out yet oh come on it wasn't that bad it's Kevin Sorbo Hercules it was hilarious like, oh yeah you, it, take... it was one of my favourite like, shows growing you... up <laughs> yeah me too I say rather well, it was after the Spawn movie. Yeah. Okay. Um. So. <laughs> even Johnny, even Johnny, back on. Just like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Stuart, I'll let you call the finalists for this one. Uh, Superman, Hulk, Kevin Sorbo, Hercules. Yep. Okay. Um. Superman. Oh, actually, I'm. I'm. Oh, 
I'm going to add a fourth in. Yep. Kratos from God of War. Kratos is my vote. EJ. Oh, Kevin Sorbo, Hercules. Hands down. <laughs> Eugene. Uh, I'm still going to go Hulk smash. Amy. Um, Hercules. Hercules? So, Stuart, you have a chance oh, to choose the final vote. vote so. <laughs> oh, no. This is a problem because I was going to go Kratos. <laughs> if you go Kratos, then Hercules and Kratos tie. I know. But as deciding vote, you get a vote and a half. So whoever you vote on will win. I kind of want Hercules to win. <laughs> Hercules yes! it is. Hercules it is. I finally picked a winner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we, now we move on to weightlifting. Okay. Um, weightlifting oh, is open to any bipedal humanoid that is not a robot. <laughs> Sorry, Data. Well, no, Data wouldn't work for that one because, um, like, her, like uh, a Hulk could like literally just like crumple Data up into a ball, <laughs> like. Yeah. So uh, you'd be really underpowered. Yeah. Okay. So for weightlifting, I'm nominating Superman. No, sorry, I revoke my vote. I'm nominating One Punch Man. Oh, that's one good. Because <laughs> you see him doing the weightlifting thing when he's doing the superhero tryouts and he accidentally launches it through the roof. It's like it's got a full of weights, as full as you can get it. He picks it up with one hand and it bends. And then he goes, whoosh, and it's through the roof and gone. And he's just like, um, whoops. <laughs> um, I'd also put, um, go... Goku. Goku? Vegeta. Goku or Vegeta? We've already had Goku. Yeah, we've already had Goku. Uh, this is Vegeta's chance to shine. He holds back for nobody, so... Yep. So, so One Punch Man, Vegeta. EJ, who are you nominating? I'm going to pick... And, and, and let me finish before you start saying no. I'm going to pick <laughs> the TARDIS with its, its cloaking generator set to make it look human. You're fired. Yep. You don't get a vote in this one. <laughs> Eugene, who's your vote? Who, who's your nomination, I should say? Uh, what was the event again? Weightlifting. Uh, Hulk. Hulk? Um, okay, Stuart, who are you nominating? Oh, so are we voting for winner or just nominating? Nominating. Nominating. Uh, Darn it. <laughs> Does not work. <laughs> hey. It's still a machine. Yep, still a machine. No, it's a living creature. They've already established that. No. Yes. <laughs> What, Technically, yes, it is alive to a point, but no. Yes. So you put the right. bio ship? No, no, in? I got it. Yep. Luke Cage. Luke Cage? Okay, yeah. So, Power uh, Man. <laughs> so we have Luke Cage, we have One Punch Man, we have Vegeta, and we have Hulk. And the TARDIS. <laughs> the no. TARDIS. The, the TARDIS <laughs> has got you eliminated by default. Okay, so let's drop that down to three, shall we? Ooh. I'm going to lose so the, the Hulk target? because the Hulk has been nominated a few times. So that's Luke Cage, One Punch Man, or Vegeta. Eugene, go. And the target. But you removed the Hulk, right? Yes. Yep. Yes. He's already been nominated half a dozen times, so. Well, at the. Uh... Hulk smash fits. <laughs> it won't fit this uh, time. Yeah. Yeah, I, can, uh, I can't really see him control himself long enough to do a proper lift. I see him sort of walking out on stage, just breaking everything and walking away. So. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know that. <laughs> you don't know? Maybe. I'm not sure. Somebody else go. Uh, let's do it. Go. 
the prince of all Saiyans, Vegeta. Why did it sound like a vampire? <laughs> but that was the most vampire I was try- I was to do voice. The t- I was trying to do the TFS voice. No, <laughs> just, just, just. No, you sound like no. a vampire instead. That was that was the most vampirey vampire voice I've heard in a while. Oh, that's good. <laughs> if I need to do a vamp. This now, if I ever need to do a vampire, I can do a voice. <laughs> Amy, what's that. your vote? Vegeta. Vegeta? I'm sticking with One Punch Man. Um, I'm going to regret saying the following thing. EJ, who do you vote for? Titus. <laughs> Not in the list I do it. I do it. <laughs> <laughs> one Punch. One Punch. One Punch Man? And the Titus. So there's two votes for One Punch Man and two votes for Vegeta. So it looks like the deciding vote goes to Eugene this time. Hulk smash, Hulk win. <laughs> Hulk's on the listing, choose again. Choose the TARDIS, choose the TARDIS, I'll switch my vote. <laughs> Vegeta or One Punch Man? He's probably going neat if like we watched him. Looks like we have a tie, folks. <laughs> <laughs> they both get the ball. Uh, okay, so, um, well, there was so many random Basically, stores. anime wins. Yeah, anime wins that one. Um, okay. Cool, we'll go So, what, what's our, what's our, uh, medal count at the moment? Yes, what's the tally at? Uh, alright, so, uh, Warner Brothers with one gold. Yep. Uh, DC with two. Nice. Uh, Souls with one, due to Marciota winning the Hammer Toss. <laughs> <laughs> Even Jody chuckled at that one. <laughs> I put that one. Out, I was like, he just so was stupid. Like, Size matters not. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Marvel with two gold and anime with one gold. Okay, um, so let's move on to the swimming. So this will be a. We'll go for the big one, the four hundred meter um, swim. Who wins this? Now, obviously, Aquaman. That's obviously Aquaman's in for a sh- in for a go. Um, we got any other choices? I don't know too many other water people actually. How about and I'm gonna I'll nominate this one just because oh, I know Killer Croc. Amy. Killer Croc. <laughs> Killer yeah. Croc. Okay. This one. This one I'm nominating for Amy. Uh oh. Little Mermaid. <laughs> no. Oh god damn it. <laughs> God damn it, no. They would be eaten. They wouldn't win very far. <laughs> uh, I could resist. Had to do it. Okay, on, on a more serious note, though, there isn't that many water-specific... Like, you've got... Um, what's his name? For Marvel's equivalent of Aquaman's, like, Nemo or something like that, isn't it? Yeah, it's not a big list of water type yeah. um uh, right, i think oh, we just give this one to aquaman because no 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 oh, squirrel I got, I got one i got one squirrel squirtle oh, i was gonna say gyarados <laughs> oh squirtle right out right out how about magikarp <laughs> <Carp. No. laughs> magikarp in the water is actually pretty carp, fucking carp, powerful carp, carp, carp. yeah just don't put it on the land it's flash yeah. flash useless so no, if we're going to go with a water Pokemon, then we'd have to go with something like Snorlax. Um, what? I was thinking Lugia. Snor! <laughs> oh, just just, hang, just yeah, tangle food just out. Roll and and just roll and crush the opponents? Yeah, pretty much. Just roll and crush the opponents. <laughs> no, no, no. He just tangle food out in front of him. Yeah. No, no. Okay, in all seriousness, though, water Pokemon... Ooh, there is so many to choose from. I think we'll stick with Squirtle, though. So, Squirtle, Aquaman, or... What was the other choice? No idea. I can't remember. We did have a third. Nope, I've forgotten what the third was. So, Squirtle or Aquaman? Stuart. Aquaman. Squirtle. Squirtle. EJ. Squirtle, Squirtle. Eugene. Really? Aquaman. And Amy's already voted for 
Aquaman. Aquaman. So that means my vote's the deciding vote. And I hate to do it, but it's it's got to be Aquaman. I'm sorry. Ah! He has to win a medal eventually, because otherwise he will feel bad and go and kill all the whales again. Did he win the javelin? Give okay, a shit then Squirtle. Me. Squirtle wins. Yeah! Because Aquaman only deserves one medal. <laughs> well, he's, he's such a sucky superhero. <laughs> <sighs> I wouldn't dare, wouldn't dare say that to Jason Momoa's face. Oh, I was just about to say that. I said, said until he became Ronan Dex, and then everyone was shit scared of him. <laughs> or Carl Draco, depending on where you know him from. Okay, so next one up is shooting. Which shooting? Is it the air rifle or the trap shooting? Um, air rifle. <laughs> Batman doesn't, Batman doesn't really use guns. Um, Technically, occasionally now and then, but... I didn't Captain say yet. Malcolm Reynolds. Oh, oh, snap. I was going to go Deadshot. Oh. I was going to say Soul Trooper for shits and giggles. <laughs> 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 he misses his target and just hits, and just hits everyone else's. No, no, no. He, I, the Storm Trooper aims down the field. There's six competitors. He fires six times. He gets a bullseye five times, and none of them are his target. <laughs> <laughs> I only have well, bullets. I'm gonna have some drop yeah. head because hit himself. Uh, so yeah, um, unless, unless we make it a clone, then it's a bit more fair. Yeah. So let's see. You got Deadshot. We've got Han Solo. We've got a clone to make Stuart happy. Um, Captain, we'll just, we make it Rex. Who? Captain who? Malcolm Reynolds. Reynolds. Reynolds, yeah, I was getting to Mal. So there's four. And uh, it... Harkness? Data. Data? Actually, yeah. that's what we forgot with Discus. Robin. <laughs> Robin and Batman. Yeah. You... Oh, it's a bit too late to go back to that. Okay, yeah. so... Stuart, I'll let you narrow it down to three. Oh god, what are our choices? Um, oh dear god, this. Uh, 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 now, Mal- Mal- Deadshot. Oh jeez. Um, Mal, Deadshot, and Data. Data, yeah. Um, uh, Malcolm. Yep. Oh jeez, this is actually really hard. Uh, uh, is Han really that accurate though? I was thinking the Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Deadshot, Winter Soldier, and Mal. No, see, I think I think Winter Soldier would be better for um trap shooting. Yeah. Well, yeah. Alright, um, so we've got Mal, we'll go Mal, we'll go Han. And uh, what are our other options? Deadshot, we'll go Deadshot. And my vote's ah. Deadshot. But not Will Smith Deadshot. No, not the Will Smith Deadshot. <laughs> Definitely not the Will Smith Deadshot. Is anyone else? Deadpool. Dead- Deadpool. Deadpool. No. Deadpool isn't <laughs> Deadpool a finalist. Deadpool wouldn't even use the gun. He'd just pull a rocket launcher out of his ass and blow everything up. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, from his anus. <laughs> yeah, it just... yeah, you go, how would it fit? Um... It doesn't matter. <laughs> do we, do we dare ask the question of how the ring fit? <laughs> uh, so we need, to, we need to make this click because we've still got a few things left to do and we're starting to run out of time. Uh, I'm going to go Mal. Mel? Okay. We'll go with Stuart. Give, it's like, we've got to give Firefly something. <coughs> all they, all they got was, well, otherwise oh, all they had was a season and a movie. Yeah. So, what else we got? EJ, what's your vote? Data. Of course. <laughs> Mel, 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 Mel. Mel. <laughs> So, so one three for, for Mal. Uh, three for Mal. Mal wins. 
Yeah. Okay, next up we have fencing. In our third, <laughs> third last event. Dooku. 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 Um, Black Widow. Black Widow? Yeah. <laughs> Black Widow would be interesting to see. Um, Xena. Warrior Princess. Hmm. Did you think about they expected per, um, perfection and they had to do dancing, so you think they'd learn fencing as well? Yeah. <laughs> Zorro. Uh, EJ, what's your yeah. nomination? I think I know, but <laughs> I did I ask anyway. Oh. Uh, what do you think it's going to be? I'm curious now. Sulu. Because <laughs> it's fencing. I was going to say Captain Picard because he liked fencing too, but I'm going to go with Sulu now. <laughs> but 09 Frank Sulu, who actually was a badass of fencing. Uh, yes. Alright, so um, let's knock it down. Um, EJ, I'll let you do the finalist this time. Okay, so the options were Sulu, uh, Xena, and what were the. Uh, Zoro, and who else? Dooku. Count Black Dooku? Widow. Black Widow. Dooku. And Black Widow. Well, fuck Star Wars, so... I knew that was uh, gonna <laughs> <laughs> uh, So let's do Sulu, Xena, and... Oh, I'm, there was one I wanted to choose, and I can't remember which one. Oh, Zoro. Okay, I'm going with Xena. Amy? The only issue with Xena is that with fencing, it's actually an art form. Not and slash. That way. That... I'm doing Zoro. Zoro? Stuart? I can't have Dooku, damn you. <laughs> Dooku, hands down, is the far better swordsman than this. But I'm going oh, Zoro. Zoro? Yeah, Dooku so... was possibly a fencer. Yeah. So, two votes for Zoro, one vote for Xena. Eugene, where's your vote for? Oh, we all know who's I'm going to with, I'm agreeing with Stuart. It was Dooku, hands down. Yeah, so, two write ins for Dooku. Um, one vote for Zoro, one vote for Xena. So, EJ, who are you going to vote for? Uh, Zoro. Zoro? So, Dooku yep. wins that one. Uh... No. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. No. no. Uh, Zoro wins this one. Zoro wins that one. EJ's deciding uh. vote, strategically placed, makes Zoro win. By half a point, because the deciding vote... Yay! Gets half Mexicans a point. won something! We win! <laughs> <laughs> so... I won't be saying that when Trump gets elected. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I just, I just was going to get locked for that one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. Just report to the airlock. You know what the buttons to press. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Next up, we have boxing. Um. Batman. I was thinking the um. One of the other characters, actually. Wildcat. Wildcat? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Such a... I can't... I... I... That was Black bad. Black Canary? Black Canary? Yeah. Black. Black. We're still Wait, having... What's this for? Boxing. Boxing. It's the second last event. <laughs> and we seem to all oh, be... Oh, I'm going to do uh... one better than... I'm going to do one better. Wildcat. Yeah, that's... That's actually... Somebody else has already nominated that one. Ah, Okay. That okay. was Amy. Hey, Captain! Gosh. Yeah. All right. So. I, I locked myself. I'm sorry. I'll I'll let Eugene <laughs> decide on the finalists for this one. So. Uh, you know they're all DC, so it doesn't Captain, matter. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Cisco, because he decked Q in a boxing match. Okay, we've got Cisco. Uh, we've got Captain America. Oh, we've yeah. got Batman. We've got Wildcat. So um, Eugene can add his what own. To, on... what, what happened to Canary? Oh yeah, Canary. Canary as well, I forgot Canary. Okay. Um, you can add your huh? own nominee onto the list if you want to, so you get to choose the three finalists. Uh, 
Batman, Wildcat, and uh, Black Canary. <laughs> DC, 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 DC wins. DC. So DC wins. So I don't even know. If, I don't even think we really need to vote on that. DC just wins by default. Um, yep. I still vote for Batman, by the way. Oh no, Wildcat. He taught. He taught. He taught Batman and Canary how to box. So. Well, okay, Wildcat well, it is then. I was Cap, not. <laughs> yeah. Cap would kick all their asses. Yeah. Uh, but Cap's also enhanced paired to everyone else. Yeah, Cap's so. called Cap's also what? Enhanced. Yeah. Oh, okay. sure. Okay, so now we move on to the last event. This one should be interesting. The Modern Pentathlon. It is a... Oh, Jesus, we are doing this. Oh, yeah, we're doing that. Um, just give me a second, I've got to work out what the... F- there's, there's five events, and it's very unspecific as to what they are. Isn't right, it so running, because I actually watched this. Biking, okay. kayaking. Yeah, it's it's it's. Oh, well, if Stuart watched it, he knows what they are. So go ahead and explain, Stuart. Yeah. So um, what it is, it uh, starts off in the pool. Yep. Uh, although they only did four this year, not five. Yeah. Anyway, it's probably because the pool. But, was um, it started in the pool, then went to a question, uh, question horse riding. Yep. And then, oh, sorry, no, it's five. There's fencing. There was fencing, yeah. and then the last stage is a combine of running and shooting with an air pist- with a laser pistol. Yeah. Uh, so we've got swim, we've fencing, got feds, please. we've got oh, horse laser. riding, we've got pistols, and we've got running. My vote is on Wonder Woman. Yeah, I'll give that. <coughs> Captain Neither. Jack Harkness. Captain Jack Harkness. Yeah, yeah, that's a fair call. Um, He's had a lot of time to train. Yeah. <laughs> And he it runs a lot. Batman. Data. Batman. Sorry, what was that, Eugene? Batman. Batman? Yeah, I could see I, Batman actually, doing well. I'd do Robin. Any particular reason Robin over Which Batman? Which Robin? Because Robin huh? is a lot more flexible. I'm going to leave Batman's childhood fetishes out of this and just move right along. <laughs> um... So I think gymnastic style. We've got but... Wonder Woman. We've got Captain Jack Harkness. I think Captain America would be would be a worthy nomination of this one as well. Um, anyone else? Or are we just going to go with those three? Just Ew. those three. Go with those three. Okay. So, Ew. Ew. Stuart, what's your vote? Uh, uh, Captain Jack Harkness. Captain Jack Harkness. Amy. Um. Kind of mind blank. Uh, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Eugene. Batman. Batman. Uh, EJ. Cap. Cap. Okay, so that's. So I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna go with Wonder Woman. So. Um, Stuart, were you keeping track of who won what then? Yep. Cool. I think Wonder Woman won it. <laughs> yeah, yes. I too. Oh. All right, so that yes. concludes the Sci-Fi Ush Olympics. Olympics. The Sci-Fi Fantasy Olympics. Oh, we've got less than five minutes left. Lol. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> um, okay, so I'll, this week. I'll, I'll let Stuart do up the, the medal count tally while we quickly jump over to Eugene for the model report. Well, we're not doing a model report. We're doing a hobby report today. Yeah, close enough. And real, quick, real quick, we'll cover the Hallmark 2016 release of various sci-fi related ornaments. Uh, they have the Alien Queen from Aliens. They have for Star Trek. They have the set of three Kirk, Spock, and McCoy. Or with Kirk sitting in the command chair and them standing by him. Nice. They have a gold edition of the Starship Enterprise in honor of the 50th anniversary. They have the salt monster attacking Kirk sitting in a chair. For the Star Wars fans, they have a Death Star tree topper that lights up in multicolors. They also have BB-8. Uh, Han Solo, Poe, 
badly. Uh, they have uh, the Poe's X-Wing. They have a Stormtrooper. They have uh, Darth Vader cussing out Princess Leia. Um, there's also going to be a special Star Wars Rogue One ornament, but there's no picture available at this point in time. Uh, one of the ones that really impressed me is a set of three from Batman versus Superman, which has Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. The base splits into three parts, with Batman and Superman having the main chunks of the Batman Superman logo, and Wonder Woman attaches to the top. Sounds kinky. There's, there's, there's also the Batmobile. There's a Supergirl based on the new cartoon or series that's being done with the DC Supergirls or whatever it's called. There's two ornaments from uh, Spider-Man. There's a picture frame style one of Spider-Man with the Green Goblin coming after him. And then there's one of Venom. And then uh, the last one, it, last two is uh, from Captain America Civil War. There's ornaments of the Cap and uh, Iron Man. And most of these are available now or will be available over the next few months at your local Hallmark store. And I'm giving a shout out to uh, Stoutner's Hallmark of Newport for giving me the book to look through the ornaments. Nice. That's sweet. So, Stuart, you've had a chance to... Oh, yeah. This, this uh, hobby report was brought to you by Perry County Hobbies. Your one-stop shop for all of your hobby thingamajigs and dearly what's-its. Mid-jiggers. You are so good at that, man. Oh, I know, right? I, I'm the most professional person around. Okay, so Stuart, what's the final metal candy? Count on, count, right. da, da, da. <laughs> okay. I, think I broke my brain a little. So, overall, Warner, Warner Brothers with one win. Star Wars with one win. So I'll do these in order of, of like third to first. So we've got a four-way tie for third with Warner Brothers, Star Wars, Firefly, and Zorro. Nice. <clears throat> And we're two-way tie for second with Marvel and Anime at two gold each. And DC wins it with four golds. Nice. For about time, DC won something. <laughs> How could I not get Star Trek just on the board even? Come on. <laughs> because I'm evil and made sure that no matter what happened, it wouldn't. Screw you, hippie. At least I at least I, I took away one medal from Star Wars. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, but I can live with Zorro. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so anyway, that that was a lot of fun this week. Um, yeah. So, anyway, that could almost just about concludes our what is it third last episode of the podcast? Well, third last. I say it's ninety seven. Yeah, third last episode of the the weekly podcast. So, um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. You guys were good. I was spectacularly pathetic, like always. Well, just what you hey, get. could be worse. We could have ended up with uh, Loki or Thor on the podcast. Speaking of which, guess, guess where I'm going today? <laughs> to of course city. you are. Yeah, guess who may or may not be an extra in New York City. You. I'm not, allowed, not technically allowed to say. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So anyway, I'll be I'll be in there this afternoon or tomorrow. So anyway. I was watching the news and they've got uh, about Loki and Thor being there, but they're only talking about Thor and going. What about Loki? Yeah, he's there. Exactly. <laughs> no, no one cares what Tom Hiddleston now is with Taylor Swift. Yeah, pretty much. So, so, so maybe that's just Loki's next trick. He's just fooling us all. Okay, that's it for this week's podcast. Thank you guys very much for listening. Make sure you check out facebook.com slash save sci-fi for your sci-fi related news. Make sure you check out facebook.com slash um, the save sci-fi, uh, the deadliest fandom. Oh. I'll get it right eventually <laughs> for all of your sci-fi battle related stuff. Make sure you check out Nobility the Series and Perry County Hobbies as well as Garrison 7 because I just don't have enough time to shout them all out every week. So definitely make sure you check all those places out and we shall see you next time 
on the podcast. Bye. 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 Bye.